Hey again, welcome back. We're on day six. So you notice there was a slide at the beginning telling you all the different exercises that we've already built up on. So today we're going to just go right into it. By the end of this workout, we will have done half of our 12 days. So today we're adding on an entire 60 seconds of sumo squats. So what we're going to do for the regular one, you're going to position your feet so they're, they're turned facing outward, you've got your toes pointing out. You want to keep your back flat, as straight as you can. We're going to tuck the butt under us a little bit. So keep your back flat as if you're just sliding down a wall and coming back up. So what it's going to look like is you're going to come down and do a squat. Now you notice that my knees are tracking out over my feet, they're pointing out over the toes. And then we come back up and down. So that's going to be the regular. If you find that that's a little bit too hard, you can have two different ways to modify. You either just go not as deep, but you're still working, still pulsing and moving, or you can go into a regular squat where you've got both of your legs, toes pointing forward, and then you just go down and squat. side, almost like you're sitting in a chair. Okay, now for the advanced version, it's the sumo as well, so we've got our feet pointed out, and we're going to add a leg raise to this. So we're going to come down, raise the leg, down, alternate legs. So I'm bringing my elbow on the inside. Okay, I think that's what we've got. So let's get it started from the beginning. We're into our two minute jog in place. Let's get this started. So day six, you're still here, you're still with it. You gotta be proud of yourself. I know I am. It's great to see you guys participating in the group, too. I know from past experience of being a participant in different groups, it always makes it for more fun for me if there are other people who are talking and communicating back and forth. So if ever you have any questions, any other comments that you want to post, feel free to do that in the group, too. Not necessarily just in the daily post, Anytime you want to. So I'm sure you've had multiple Christmas and Boxing Day and a little bit after pre-New Year's parties and dinners and whatnot. We're gonna do what we can to get that worked off a little bit. take us into a healthy and fit new year. So we're at about a minute and a half right now. So we've got 30 seconds left. And then we're going to go into our jumping jacks for 60 seconds. But you guys know that, you're all pros. We know what we're doing by this point in time until I make a mistake on camera and then, you know, just messes the whole thing up. All right, transitioning to jumping jacks in three, two, one. And of course, now that we keep adding things on, we do have the lovely 20 second break between our lunges and the interim push ups. We're about halfway through our jumping jacks. It's 
It's really warm in my house tonight. Don't know about you guys, but not feeling the cold outside in this super heated living room. Three seconds left. All right, shake your legs out a little bit. Get them ready for those lunges. So we're gonna go left leg back to start. And we've got 60 seconds on each side. Let's go. down a little bit. Remember you can always change to a modification. I want you to feel the burn, but I don't want you to collapse. So if you feel it really working, just don't go as deep. Or if you want to push yourself, add in the lift and the twist. We're almost done here. Okay, shake it out a little bit. Let's switch right leg back. I'm making you earn your break here. You're working for it. All right. Now, if you're working, if you're pushing yourself, your legs should both be burning and they should probably be wobbling at this point in time. Mine definitely are. I can feel it right in through here. All right, we've still got some time left. I just needed to get out a little cramp there. Not to get you guys too excited or anything. No false hope. standing directly in front of my fireplace and man the fan is off Whew. she's still be hot okay we're kind of up on the end here all right good job let's take a 20 second minute 20 second break here yeah 20 second minute that works too grab a drink of your water If you're using the mat for your inchworm push-ups, grab that too. And then we'll go inchworm push-ups. And of course, crunches after that. And then we add on the new one. All right. One minute of this. You can do it. Let's go. And if you really want to push yourself on it, or if you're not quite ready for the leg lift, you can add a little squat at the end. Remember your modifier is on your knees. We're almost through this one. Got about five seconds left. Can we get one more out of it? Just one last one before we go. All right, great job. Down on the floor. Let's get our crunches out of the way. Regular, flat on the ground, modified, not quite as far up. More advanced, tabletop. All right, here we go. Again for a minute.
forceful exhales. Now using your hands to push you forward. Using your core. Keeping your elbows out as much as you can. Timekeeper's gonna tell me when we're done. No. All right, and that was your last one. Let's move the mat out of the way, but not the one behind the camcorder. All right, here we go. We're into our 60 seconds. Last exercise. Let's do these sumo squats. Ready? Legs out. Toes pointing in opposite directions, pretty much. And we're going down. Now, if you're feeling really good about this, I want you to get as low as you can because we're really working the glutes. We're toning that butt. Don't tell me you don't want a nicer butt. All right, I think I'm gonna add some leg listen to mine here. squeeze your butt a little bit more when you're coming up because it's a nice resistance one more all right that was your 60 second sumo squats and that's it for day six we're halfway through catch you tomorrow for day seven